Today was the deadline for health care workers to either get vaccinated or be terminated. But the enforcement of that federal vaccine mandate has been paused for now. Channel 8's Alexis Ganeski joins us live in studio with the story. Alexa. Yeah, that's right, Megan. It's called the CMS rule. If your facility accepted Medicaid and Medicare patients, then everyone from top to bottom in the hospital had to be vaccinated. But a court ruling between a handful of states has the mandate paused and Nebraska hospitals are making some slight changes because of it. We even had a few of our facilities that were really, really concerned that they may have to shut down uh, services altogether if this uh, was to occur and so shutting down services that's what some Nebraska hospitals were looking to do if they had to enforce a federal vaccine mandate but that enforcement has been paused for now if uh, they're going to have to terminate some of their workforce it's it's going to be very difficult um, for the the CEOs and these hospitals because they're going to have to make some difficult decisions. The pandemic has exposed a lot of the problems that have been around for years, like staffing shortages. And on top of that, some healthcare systems have been preparing to lose even more of their staff to a vaccine mandate. But a federal court ruling has that mandate halted, creating a sigh of relief for some of those rural hospitals. They were going to uh, have to terminate, um, you know, anywhere from six to 10 percent of their entire staff is, is what we heard from some of our facilities. And, uh, you know, that's that's just a, a large number of, of employees. Lincoln's healthcare systems and others across the state are slightly changing their vaccine mandate rules, even though the federal ruling does not prevent hospitals from enforcing their own. CHI Health and Brian Health will be pushing back their deadline. Previously, Brian Health said 10 total employees resigned or were terminated for non-compliance, while another 297 employees were granted a medical or religious exemption. As of now, they're saying 180 employees who declined the vaccine in August and also did not file a valid exemption were not terminated as planned. CHI Health also said in a statement, in light of the legal landscape in federal courts, they're suspending the deadline for compliance until at least January. Those unvaccinated employees without an approved exemption may continue to work, but will be required to mask up and undergo regular COVID testing. The hospitals and staff are waiting anxiously to see what the next step is, whether the federal mandate will come back with a different deadline or if the whole thing will be thrown out. Megan.